Hey guys, Izzy and MJ from Endless RV, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about a pretty important topic in RV, and that's going to be towing. So we're going to cover six mistakes that RV owners make that can, some of them, cause life-threatening injuries or even death. But before we get to that, this video is sponsored by Liquid Spring. Now, if you are looking to upgrade the suspension of your Class A, B, C, Super C motorhome, the very best is Liquid Spring. Oh, yes. And for our viewers and subscribers, you can save up to $750 off a new Liquid Spring system by using the code RIDE ENDLESSLY. Now, we have driven Class A equipped motorhomes that are they're equipped with a Liquid Spring, and it's absolutely amazing. The great thing is it's now an option from certain manufacturers, namely Tiffin and Fleetwood and Holiday Rambler. So all the contact information, if you're interested in getting or have questions about Liquid Spring, is gonna be down below. It's the best, check it out, Liquid Spring. Okay, number one is getting a truck that is not compatible for the RV that you have or are about to purchase. So have you ever driven on a highway or anywhere and you see a truck that's pulling an RV and it's just, like this like and, you, and you think to yourself is that really the best truck for that rv yeah and there's really no way to mm -hmm. tell by looking really there's two important things and one that people i guess they focus on more than the others so the first one is going to be the the tow capacity mm -hmm. of that truck right so say for example like half ton vehicle they may advertise ten thousand pound towing capacity and you have your trailer is, you know, 9,500 pounds. Well, there's other things to take into consideration. First of all, the manufacturers of these trucks, they usually advertise best case scenario. Mm -hmm. So every model is different. So say it's advertised at 10,000 pounds, that may be for the two door, not for the crew cab with all the luxuries. Mm -hmm. What I'm trying to say is that it's individual per vehicle. So what you need to do, you need to check the uh, door jam of your truck, mm -hmm. your tow vehicle. It will tell you what the max towing capacity is, as well as another important thing, what the payload is, right? How much can that truck keep in the bed? And this is pretty important for fifth wheels. A lot of fifth wheels now are being advertised as half ton towable. And the reality is there they're isn't they're, yeah. because the, the pin box may be far exceed what the payload capacity is of that truck. So we're not going to get into all in to details, but it's pretty important. Do your homework. There's plenty mm -hmm. of channels out there. Big Truck Big RV yeah. is a great yeah, one. Yeah, he's awesome. We'll put his link above. JD goes over this ad nauseum. Mm -hmm. So number one, having the right tow vehicle. Number two has to do more now with motorhomes. So in terms of towing a vehicle. Now, there can be a lot of issues with that where you have a vehicle that's not flat towable or you have a car that's too much weight. Yeah, so we kind of fall into this. Mm -hmm. So MJ's car, she has a Ford Escape. It is not flat towable. Unfortunately. If we put it on a trailer, it's too heavy for our mm -hmm. motorhome because we only have 5,000 pound max. Now, I have a vehicle that's flat towable. Well, actually two of them. One is a Ram, which is flat towable. That vehicle weighs 5,400 pounds. So that puts us over the right. limit flat towable. And then I have a 2000 Mustang five speed that is far underweight. That's mm -hmm. about 3000 pounds. And I think we're gonna be making that flat towable very soon. So what we're trying to say is that before you buy a motorhome, whatever vehicle you plan on towing, make sure that you know it's flat towable. There are resources out there. I think it's yeah. what Dinghy's Towing. They put out a publication every year about the, that year and what vehicles mm -hmm. are flat towable. Yeah, so, there's so many available uh, outlets out there to check. All right, the third thing, it's gonna be towing overweight. Now this can cover a few different areas and, and we're gonna talk about those. The first thing we're gonna talk about is towing a vehicle that's too heavy. Now we just talked about, I have a Ram. We cannot tow it with this for several reasons. Number one, the hitch is only rated at 5,000 pounds. So we don't like to play Russian roulette. I know some people will say, well, it's only 300 pounds over. Yeah, well, that's fine. You may get away with it, but just understand that doing that extra, that weight, that starts wearing down on this chassis, on the tow hitch that's set up in the back. It's engineered to tow for 5,000 pounds. The second thing is towing total overweight. So we have a combined weight rating of 30,000 pounds, which means the motor home plus whatever we tow cannot exceed 30,000 pounds. That's why it's so important to get your vehicles weighed. Why is this important? Because your brakes on your motor home are rated to tow that total amount of 30,000 pounds. You have to take in consideration what you load in your motor home, including 
fuel, water, whatever junk you take with you. What we're trying to say is be very aware, get your vehicle weighed at a CAT scale, and don't tow more than what your vehicles are rated for. Number four is not taking proper precautions. With safety mechanisms mm -hmm. when you're towing. So there's certain safety mechanisms, fail safes that are, are built into towing. And we're gonna talk about a couple of them. Number mm -hmm. one is safety chains. This is really important. Don't be that cool person that doesn't use safety chains. So if you don't know what safety chains are, essentially there's chains that hook on from the chassis of your motorhome to the whatever you're towing. And what they do, it, it, it's just a backup. For whatever reason, the ball comes off the hitch or your pin box comes out of the, the pin, those chains is what keeps you attached, essentially. Right, and if recently in the news, we're here in April 2021, and in March 2021, there was a truck with a trail, 30-foot trailer in Idaho that went over the guardrail and it was all over the news and it thing was dangling and without those chains that would have been went it. To the drink. That would have been it. All right so the second thing is uh, emergency braking system breakaway mm -hmm. system so what that is it is a usually a cable that's hooked again from your trailer your tow vehicle to the chassis of your towing vehicle again if for whatever reason your hitch fails mm -hmm. your chain fails this cable once it is pulled will apply the emergency braking to that vehicle mm -hmm. so it just doesn't keep rolling it'll should stop really right. <laughs> so that's another thing the third thing is using supplemental braking now what mm -hmm. supplemental braking is is either using a, a, a brake controller mm -hmm. in your motorhome to apply brakes to either your towed vehicle or if it's on a trailer brakes to a trailer so remember you're adding anywhere from 4,000 pounds up to it could be 20,000 pounds mm -hmm. 30,000 pounds having supplemental braking in that vehicle that's being towed is helping the brakes of your tow vehicle so they don't don't overheat it doesn't increase your braking distance very important don't skimp on this stuff no, please no, be safe out there it, yeah. because what can happen is if you do get into some kind of crash if there is some kind of accident you may have a big problem not only with your insurance but you may be breaking laws out there right number five this is a really really important one is driving too fast now on the highways we see this all the time now we don't drive slow i mean we'll drive like 65 70 most of the time in, mm -hmm. in Nelly, and we'll have people in trailers and and flying past us. Everybody's like, in a rush. Oh my God, it's so dangerous, and they're shaking all over the place and without a care in the world. So, so why is this dangerous? Well, especially on the towables, a lot of these towable vehicles, the tires are not rated to be driven that right. fast. They may be rated to be like 65 miles an hour. And MJ and is not, fit, she yeah. is not exaggerating. If we're driving 70, yeah. they will be, yeah. I mean, these vehicles just sure. blowing past us. And then, you know, those are the vehicles that wind up on the, twisted on, up yeah, on the side, on the side, of, the side road. of the road. Right. Listen, RVing, it's, it's recreational. Take your time. I mean, the difference between 65 miles and 80 miles an hour, well, what are you, where are you getting faster? What are you, yeah, what are you getting there, like 20 minutes earlier? I mean, I really. Know. It's not worth your life. Take your time. If you don't care about yourself, care about the others that if you do crash, the backup you're going to cause mm -hmm. for everybody mm -hmm. else behind you. All right, number six, this is really important, is the tire pressure. How much mm -hmm. pressure is in your tire? So usually how it works is that you should have your vehicle weighed, at least on, with our motorhome, we have our vehicle weighed, how you drive it. And then according to what kind of tires and manufacturer you have on that motorhome, you are going to inflate your tires appropriately, cold inflate mm -hmm. appropriately to the proper air pressure. So as we always do, we recommend getting a tire pressure monitoring system for your RV and your trailer if you have one. TPMS is really the best way to monitor those tires before you leave and during your travel to make sure that everything is safe and sound. All right, so those people that know what a TPMS is, like MJ said, tire pressure monitoring system, and it's important because it gives you live feedback mm -hmm. on both pressure and temperature. Two indicators that can show you if you have a tire failure. There's many dis different systems out there. We use TireMinder. We have a discount. We'll put it below. You can get 20 bucks off. And, you know, we've been having, using TireMinder now for over a year. It's, it's worked oh, it's great. Oh, it's been great. All right, so in the comments below, let us know what you know about towing. There's some, some things we missed, which, of course, we didn't cover everything. Have you seen these things that we're talking about when you're out in your travels? Put those down below. And for myself and MJ, we thank you guys for watching. And we'll see, see you on, on the, the road. road.